Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with a mess on my table. <laughs> and I I have I have Gail mail to share. We're going to do this in sort of a different order cuz I just have such a mess here. Um I'm going to show you what I was up to and then I will um yeah, just sh share all that. Get this picked up. Do the happy mail. And then, um, and then we'll do some crafting, but, um, I wanted to show you guys, let's see if I can pick this up enough to show you. Um, I've reorganized my ephemera because I had, you know, I had the basket, the wicker basket. Oh, wait, hi and hugs, hi and hugs to Brenda, Anne and Eve. Those are the ladies that the happy mail will be sharing in a few minutes. That's, that's where it came from. So anyways, back to my story. The, um, the ephemera basket was wicker. It had a liner, but it was wicker and it had the slanty sides. And I was really feeling like stuff was getting kind of mangled in there just a little bit because of the slanty sides and the bumpiness of the wicker basket, right? So funny enough, I was watching Rachel on Roxy Create uh, Roxy Creations on YouTube, and and she reorganized her ephemera, and she said, "You know, Gail has a basket," <laughs> and so um, the inspiration for her to reorganize her her uh, ephemera it flipped around, and she inspired me to reorganize my ephemera. So my friend Judy calls that cross pollination. <laughs> and it's just what it is. So let me show you. Um, yesterday afternoon, I spent the afternoon organizing and then I did a little uh, video on my Patreon to show everybody and I made this stuff. So I'm just gonna give you a quick recap and then we'll get started on stuff. So I just cut down a box to about four inches. And then, I don't know if you can, can you see that? I um, I put, uh, what is that called? Burlap, uh, burlap patterned duct tape on the top, just to strengthen the top. And then I covered it with some pretty papers from Blue Fern Studios. This is one of their older collections that they don't have any more. So, but I love it. And so it makes me happy to look at the box, all that to say. And then I followed Rachel's lead and I did dividers. And so I have a tag section and within the tag section, I have tags with toppers and tags without. Then the next pocket is pocket tags like these ones that I did um, for Creativation for Blue Fern. And like I have, I have one of these Tracy Fox types in here. I have some that were sent to me, just various pocket tags there. Then I have journal cards. I have kind of the medium sized over here and large and really small over here. Then double journal cards, you know, that open up, right? Like that. Um, on this, uh, uh, in this divider. And then I have envelopes, teeny weeny envelopes, all sorts of envelopes, uh, children's book envelopes, all sorts of envelopes there. Um, these gorgeous envelopes from my friend Janita, love those. Anyway, um, and then pockets. So I have just every kind of pocket in here from uh, fabric on index cards to corner pockets. Uh, some of these, um, these type of pockets, whatever you call them, tuxedo pockets or whatever. And so, yeah, that's the pocket section. Then I have sacks. So everything from these little kind of sacks like this that are kind of die cut to, I do have one decorated bag is all I have at the moment. Belly bands and flips. Um, I don't know if I'm still on camera. Belly bands and flips. So this kind of, you know, the collage belly band and then these little flips that I make out of coffee dyed paper. Had more the, of those than I realized. <laughs> Notepads just made out of extra pieces of paper. And then a miscellaneous for like, I have these, um, 
you know, these pattern pieces that I make once in a while and guest checks and stuff like that. So my thought is with this little box is when it gets full, I'm not allowed to make any more ephemera. <laughs> so, cause I want to keep it within this box. I'll, I'll organize like this. So I know what I have cause go, going through it. I couldn't believe all the stuff I had that I totally forgot about. So, um, so anyway, while I was going through this, I came up with a pile of unfinished ephemera, which this box is like, these things are ready to go into a journal. So it's like, grab this box and ready to go, right? So I had this pile of unfinished ephemera, and I also had uh, a pile of kind of like, uh, what would you call it? embellishments, embellishments to, to, to do. So on my Patreon channel, I did a video of, of using some of those up. So I wanted to go ahead and file those and I'll, I'll show you what I did over there yesterday. And then, um, I want to do, I want to do some more and, and just get some of the parts and pieces used up and um and then i need to make some journals that that all this can go in so let's i'll just show you what i finished up i had i had this index card that i had done the weaving of the brown strips of uh of scrapbook paper and and then i had this little slide that i made i think i made that in the um three and thirty and so I put them together, inked it up, and it's a super cute little pocket. So that is going in the pocket area right here. Filed. It is filed. This, too, is a pocket that's just leftover scrapbook paper, and um, I put one of the stamps on it that I had watercolored. This is going to go uh, in one of my bee journals, so I'm going to set it to the side. Okay, and then I had these. I have several of these. And I had bought these um, quilted ephemera pieces, I guess you could call them, um, on Etsy. And I can't remember just now where. So if it came from your shop, please say something down below. But um, they're super cute, but they they are just on felt. And so they weren't like, a piece that I could use. I mean, I could put them on a cover or something, but um, I decided to make a tag with this one. And I'm going to put these aside too, because these are the feed sack, um, feed sack fabrics. And I want to put some, I want to put a topper. So that one's getting set aside to get a topper. This one is um, just on one of these old, I don't know, these old computer card things. And so that can be a journal card. So I'm going to call that a journal card. We're going to file that. This one was a smaller one, and I just put it on one of these pieces that is a belly band. So that's going in the belly band section. Okay, this is a notepad, and the outside was done. All I had to do was put paper in it. And so it was sitting in there without paper. So we're just going to put that in the notepads. Um, these two little playing cards were, um, they were rather plain. So I attached this, I put some lace, I put a word, and I backed them. So um, those are now journaling cards. They go in the small journaling card section here. Um these two little things, they are um, parchment paper, and they're kind of like a library card pocket, and they've got index card in there. And so I just decorated up the front of both of them. This was one of the little pieces that I had just floating around in there. So now I have a couple pockets there. Let's see, pockets. Where are my pockets? Back here. Okay, so I'm just going to pop those into the pocket section. Uh, this one, a uh, journal card, um, this was an embellishment that I had uh, sitting around, and so I put it on just one of my collaged journal cards. So that can go 
in the journal card section, maybe over here, a little bit smaller. And then this is just a teeny weeny 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 teeny weeny weeny little um, notebook. And I have more of those notepads, I guess I called them. And then these are two little tiny um, altered playing cards that I just backed. And I have a spot for those. I have this. This box is like small stuff like um, embellishments in the front and in the back is tiny little tags. I needed a spot for tiny little tags so that they could, um, I could grab those easily. Okay, so that's the, that's the organization. Um, a few of the things that I have left to work on are... Um, I've got all these little envelopes, so we'll make those embellishments. I have these embellishments to go on something. Um, and see, this is my glue book. I'll stick it over there. I have these that just, they need something. I'm not sure what. And I have some envelopes here as well. So don't need, and this little, this little bird. Um, I don't necessarily, oh yeah, in a Starbucks pocket, don't necessarily have to do all these. They could go in my box here, which is unfinished ephemera. So that one is, that big box is ready to go in a journal. These all need something, need something done to them or their bases or things like that. So for now, I think I'm going to just pop these in here, put them on the floor, and then um, had a couple of my little trims. I'm just going to stick those kind of down in one of my books. Okay, now I have, I think I have room to do happy mail. <laughs> so I wanted to, I wanted to show you what we're up to today. Just kind of, it's it's a combination organization, tidying up the desk, and making some ephemera. That's what we're going to do. Okay, let's look at this fun stuff. So the first one is from my friend Eve. Eve is, uh, is from the Snippet Shop, and she is in Switzerland. And Eve and I, if you've watched my channel a long time, you know this, but um, we've had a fun little collaboration with these um, these trims. She found antique trims uh, in Switzerland that she has purchased kind of in bulk. Apparently, it was from a factory that went out of, of business back in the day, and this antique store had acquired all their all their leftover pieces. And so Eve has been having these in her shop. And then when the when the physical item is sold out, then I make a digital. And they're they're called the small world uh uh small world kit one, kit two, you know, uh on on my Etsy. So we've had this little collaboration going and it's just been so it's so sweet of Eve and um I know she appreciates me introducing her shop to you all and everything, but it's it's very generous of her to allow me to do um, digitals with these. And then it's like they're never ending. They never run out. But so, um, and then she sent some things from that are new in her shop. So I'm just gonna start at the top here. Look at these, you guys. Oh, I'm so excited. Eve knew I would love these. Um, I think she found these at the same antique store. She said she just found a bunch of these appliques. So look at how pretty the colors are. Wouldn't that be pretty just leave it on a corner or around an edge of a picture? They're just beautiful. Those are so fun, Eve. Good find, friend. Good find. So there's a variety of those, and those will be in each shop. And then um, let's just open this up so that we can see the see the trims a little bit better. I'll just kind of hold them up one at a time, maybe. 
Eve always has them so nicely, nicely um, wrapped and folded and everything. And then I tend to just, see, I'm just making a mess already. But anyway, I'm just going to hold them up one at a time so you can kind of see them. And, uh, oh my gosh, they're just, they're just gorgeous. They're just gorgeous. I'm going to try and move them a little like that one just catches the light. Oh, wow. Look at this one, you guys. Let me put my hand behind it so you can kind of see. But, oh, they're just gorgeous. Oh my gosh. This one, I love this one, Eve. Isn't that beautiful? That's gonna be a beautiful digital too, because that will, some of these, like this one, I, I mean, I don't know, I'll have to try and see how they, how they translate into a digital, but, um, but yeah, just beautiful. And so I just think it's so cool that Eve found this awesome stash and she's just sharing it with everyone. Okay, so here's one that's a little, it's like a thin version of this one. That's cool. <clears throat> so cool. And then, oh, this is very subtly patterned. I don't know, can you, does the light pick that up? So pretty. And look at this pink one. Ooh, that's just a dusty rose. Beautiful color. This is so pretty too. I love this one too. Reminds me of a sunset. It's all those colors. I'm looking in my in my phone and it just doesn't look like it's the same colors coming on the but you'll see them in her Etsy and her photos will be will show you. So that is the newest that is the newest bit of trims that Eve has in her shop, the snippet shop on Etsy. So um so yeah, I'm gonna put these just in like this so that I can put them in without squishing and I'll go back and go back and fix that once we're done with the video here. But that's the newest batch of tr of trims. And then <laughs> I love it. I know you love your envelopes, she says. She has vintage envelopes in her shop. And yes, I have I have purchased those a time or two. <laughs> have purchased those a time or two. Aren't these awesome? That's in 1977, so not super old, but cool. It's one of those. What do they call it? First, first edition, first print. I don't know. They call it something like that. Oh my gosh! Look at that one. So cool. Thank you. I actually have some vintage envelopes over there that we just played with in my last three and 30. Oh, isn't that a fun one with all the flowers and the pink one day, first day of issue. That's what those are called. First day of issue. Oh, these are super cool. Thank you so much. Thank you, Eve. Those are awesome. Oh, look at that cute one, the little girl. Oh, those are great. Thank you so much. So yeah, Eve generally has um, vintage envelopes in her shop as well. Oh, look at these, you guys. Look at these time cards from Switzerland. Wow, these are cool. These are so cool, Eve. Got to figure out what I'm doing here. Wow. October 70. Look at those. Let me pull one out and just show you. Aren't those so cool? Love those. Those are going to be fun to embellish. And what a nice size, too. Oh, those are fun. Those are really fun, Eve. Thank you. And then Switzerland receipts. Oh, cool. 
Oh. That's a really cool washi tape too. <laughs> Might have to save that from a glue book. Oh, look at these beautiful receipts too. Pink ones and ooh, these are cool. They're like uh they're almost like really thin vellum or something. Those are cool. Just all sorts of receipts. Those are really fun. 1960, 1957. Gosh, those are cool. Thank you so much, Eve. Thank you. Bless your heart. So I hope you'll go over to the snippet shop and get yourself some treasures from Eve. You know, she's got such really cool stuff and she is a sweetheart of a person as well. And so, yeah, I, I know a lot of you have supported her in the past and I so appreciate that. So thank you, Eve, and look at the cute little fairy card. And of course, like most junk journals, she didn't write in it. I love it. <laughs> she wrote on on a piece of paper you gotta love it okay so that's from Eve uh, and then this one is from Anne let me get it out of here because um don't want to mess up and show the address or something okay she's got things wrapped in things okay let's see oh cute it's a it's a Easter it's a Easter basket is what it is. She said she had found some things that she just thought needed to come live with me. Oh my gosh, it's very pretty um, tissue paper too. Look at how pretty that tissue paper is. Gonna have to save that. Yes, indeedy. Now Anne, her um. Her return address said Anne's Accents, but I couldn't find her on Etsy, so I'm not quite sure. Maybe she'll, maybe she'll have some information to let us know where she's at. Oh, here comes my husband with my smoothie. Thank you, sweetie. You got Thank it. you. Cheers, everybody. Mmm. <laughs> Yummy, so good. This is becoming a habit, isn't it, in my videos? <laughs> well, at 10.30, my husband makes a smoothie. And so if I'm filming, that's what happens. Okay, so she sent a little Easter card. Oh, I don't know if she wants that photo on there. Oh, So her and her husband, and it looks like maybe her daughter. Her da yeah, she looks just like her daughter. Oh, thank you so much, Anne. Thank you. Oh, yes. And then... Yes. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, Anne. She doesn't have any information about an Etsy store, but... Um, so, I don't know if she has a local store or something. Well, here is... Here is a chocolate lollipop which I am going to, I'm going to pass this along to my hu husband can have himself a little sweet because you know, I'm off sugar. I, I don't eat sugar anymore. I am, what am I like five months without having any sugar. So thank you though, Anne, my husband will love it. <laughs> and look at these, these just cracked me up. I saw them as I was unwrapping the package. Look at their bunny knee socks. How fun are those? Thank you, Anne. Thank you. Yes, I, I love me some socks. Love me some socks. Okay, I don't know what to open first, so we'll just start, okay? Oh, She's just... Let's see. Oh, pretty little dish. 
Oh, isn't that fun? That'll be fun to put paper clips or something in. Let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. So I think that's a, is it a, yep, that's, that is a magnet. Thank you, Anne. Those are so fun. What's this? Oh, it's a bunny. It's a, bu is it a soap? It's a bunny soap. Yeah, it's a bunny soap. Isn't that fun? Well, I can't use it as soap because, you know, his little face and his little ears and everything would go away. So he's going to go up on my up on my window ledge. Oh, he's so cute. Thank you. Oh, so see, he can live in the dish, in the soap dish. I get it. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. Oh, my gosh. And then she had said in her note that she was sending doilies look at all these fun doilies oh my gosh look at that oh that's beautiful isn't that fun it's like it's a pocket in the back i'm not sure what that would have been tooth fairy i don't know oh so pretty thank you so much Anne. All these pretty doilies oh my goodness see when you when you get this many doilies then you don't feel so bad cutting them up <laughs> oh these are pretty thank you and then just a bunch of different sizes of that style and then oh this pretty one thank you Anne. so nice Thank you. Yeah, and some of these are like like new ones, so it's not like you're cutting up an old, you know, heirloom or something. Cute little bunny things. Bunny napkins. Easter eggs. And some stickers. Love, hope, peace, and faith. And she had those stickers on her... Um, uh, on the wrapping of her package. Thank you. Believe, create, imagine, dream. Oh, fun. Happily grateful. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. I got to put that somewhere in my room. Thank you so much, Anne. I just, I, everything's just wonderful. Thank you. That is so fun. Oh, so fun. Thank you, thank you. Okay, that was from Anne. And now, this next batch is from Brenda. Oh, goodness, I better take a sip. If I don't drink it, it gets warm and it's icky. So I have to. I'm sorry to be eating this wonderful smoothie in front of you. Okay, Brenda, let's see what is, what is, oh my goodness. Okay, well, Brenda is snip, Snippity-Doo Creations on Etsy. And so, yay, another Etsy shop to check out, huh? Oh my gosh. Hodgepodge of items I sell in my shop. Okay, well, let's look at those. Wow. Oh, fun stuff. A hodgepodge. You know how I love a hodgepodge. Okay, so we have got little teeny weeny glassine bags, little tags with rings. Um, these are like garment type tags. And then tall skinny tall skinny um, glassines. Oh, those are so fun. And look at these teeny weeny little, little um, tags. Love those. Those are so fun. See, these fell off the back. Oh, things she made. Oh, so fun. 
um, little, uh, what do I want to say? Retro, retro type uh, recipe cards. Aw, Montana. There I am, right there. Quick facts. Yep. Oh, dinosaur eggs found at Egg Mountain support the theory that some dinosaurs cared for their young. Well, that's nice. Yoko sapphires known for their clear cornflower blue color are only mined in Montana. I did not know that. That's so cool. So cool. Thank you. Oh, goodness. And a ribbon with spatulas and cupcakes and kitchen stuff. Oh, so fun. Yes. For the next cookbook. I love it. And then these are some things she's made. Oh, dear friend, it says. Can this slide down? I think so. She's got such a nice bow there. Look at that pretty eco dive. And it's a it's a flip. Oh. Look at that. How pretty that is. Such a pretty journal card. Oh, that's so cute. So cute. Thank you so much. Little there's bunnies in here. Here's a bunny stamped on looks like the bottom of one of these tags. Oh, and then um, here's one of the tags that she sells in the shop that she stamped it on them. And then there's the top of the tag, which is a great idea to separate them. I've never thought of doing that to make them smaller. Good idea. And look, hairy yarn. <laughs> That's called eyelash trim, Gail. <laughs> Oh, this is so cute. Thank you so much. So she sells these in her shop too. And then look at these pockets. Aren't those so cute? Little tiny envelopes in them. That is adorable. And then the little the little tiny tag that she that she sent along. Those are adorable. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Brenda. Okay, so, well, I guess I don't need to put things back, do I? I can just, I can just make a pile. Okay, and then tear, tear quote sheet I sell in my shop. This is an example of how I use them. Cool. Oh, those are fun. Sometimes only paper will listen to you. Thank goodness for you guys, because that would be true. My paper would be the only one listening to me. Oh, these are so cool. Yeah, so she's just got all sorts of quotes. Oh, those are really fun. Thank you so much. What a great idea. I got I got to hold those up closer to the camera so you guys can for sure see. Aren't those fun? I could just embellish with those. See, I'm getting more stuff to embellish with here, which is a good thing. And then Nursery Rhyme Vintage Picks. I sell... Um, that I sell in my shop. Examples of how to use them. Oh my gosh, I just got so many fun hand created things. Thank you so much, Brenda. This is awesome. So little journaling card with a little red riding hood on it. And um, these are some like, uh, what do I want to say? Music with cards. Oh, look at how sweet that is. Oh my gosh, look at how cute these are. So she just has these in her shop. All these little 
Are you seeing those okay? I guess I'm pretty close. And music. Oh my gosh, look at that. Deedle Deedle Dumpling. Oh, super cute, Brenda. Super cute. And then she has examples of how she used them. She put them on paper and then on fabric. And look at how cute that is. Make a darling cover. Like maybe on a bag journal or something. Oh man, you've got my mind at clicking, Brenda. Got it clicking. Oh, thank you so much. Those are so fun. And these are... These are some tear sheets she said she made. Those are pretty. So, you know, like claw sheets. Oops, I think I missed one. I did. And these are like old letters, old, old letters. Oh, and this is the, um, this is the quote sheet that she made those cute little, um, little cards with on. Yeah. And then, oh, and then some bingo sheets. These are awesome. Oh my gosh. Look at these guys. Aren't those cool? Yellow or uh, orange. It's like green and orange and red and gray. Oh, those are really cool. Thank you so much, Brenda. Just spoiled me rotten. Gosh, guys, gonna have to zip over to her shop and check things out. Yes, oh, those are so fun. So fun. And then, and there's more. Wait, there's more. So cute how she has everything. Oh my gosh. Bernice Mountain Dog Puppy Journal. What? Oh my gosh. I always think of you when I see these gorgeous dogs. Have you and Mr. A watched 911 Lone Star? It's a TV series. Their dog love their dog buttercup oh my gosh that is so cute he's a puppy jimmy joe doesn't look like that anymore oh that's so sweet thank you brenda oh my goodness that is so fun oh let's see and then got a got a big old package here let's see all wrapped in fabric in Peeps fabric. <laughs> Peeps fabric for Easter. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Look, Peeps in pajamas. Look at this cute book. Oh, how fun. Oh, my gosh. So cute. the fun um, tags and journaling cards little ones in here oh happy Easter thank you so much Brenda look how she used the bingo cards guys as a page in a book that is a great idea I don't know if I would have thought of that look at this fun pocket just it's a three tiered type of pocket Oh, that is so cute. Fabric flip. Woohoo. Oh, fun. Thank you so much, Brenda. Oh my gosh, look at this little guy. So cute on cardboard. Oh my gosh, it is adorable. Oh, there's a Elsie Bell's bookshelf. I think. I think so. 
Oh, thank you so much. This is, oh, that's Addie's. That's my granddaughter's design. Aw, thank you, Brenda. Oh my goodness, so sweet. Everything bunny. Look at this. Flip out. Oh, isn't that cute? That's like, that's like the one that she sells in her shop. So just FYI. <clears throat> oh, so pretty. Isn't that fun? Oh, Brenda, thank you so much. Gosh, your journal cards are just beautiful. I love them. Oh, the belly band. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh, look at that. Little chicken. Little chicken and little birdies. Oh, and the, <laughs> see, we're gonna make some of those. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and there's Addie's, too. Oh. Oh, that's so fun. Thank you so much, Brenda. It's just wonderful. Little pocket tag. I love how you use the bingo cards. That's awesome. That'll be so fun. Oh, yep, there's Addie's, too. Aw, this is awesome. This is just so cute. <laughs> Aren't her tags just beautiful? Love them. This is cute paper. A little envelope with a journaling card in it. Goes in easily if you don't. Oh, thank you. This is just so cute. Don't you just love seeing how other people create? It's just so fun. I swear, it's like, I always have said, it's like if you Give someone the exact same supplies. Give 10 people the exact same supplies. They'll come up with 10 different different um, takes on it, you know? Oh, that's so pretty. Thank you so much, Brenda. It's so much work in this. Oh. It's just so pretty. Oh, I love it. Love all the bunnies. Oh, and that is so cute. I gotta take a picture of that and send it to Addie. Oh, that's so cute. Thank you so much, Brenda. This is just, it's just beautiful. Look at that beautiful tag. Just beautiful, thank you. Oh my gosh. That pretty. I wonder if that's one of my digitals. It looks like it. One of my eco dyed ones. Oh, I have this same stamp, Brenda. That's what I put on mine, too. Oh, so beautiful. Thank you so much, Brenda. Thank you for this Easter journal. And look, I have a peeps right on there. <laughs> that kind of peeps I can eat <laughs> or not. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, everyone. My goodness, what a, what a happy, happy mail day. Thank you, thank you. Oh goodness, okay. Well, let me see how much time we have left. Oh, we only have 15 minutes left. That's because we had lots to do. Mm-hmm. Well, let's do these since they're on the desk. <laughs> Um, just want to make a few tucks out of these. So that makes me wonder if I need to have another category in my ephemera box called tucks. Maybe. 
Okay, so I kind of want to see which ones are my bigger ones. I have all these bigger ones. Don't know if I have enough. Actually, these two could be little flips, couldn't they? Maybe. Maybe we could use these as bases. It's always a bit of a, a puzzle to know how I want to put them together. I kind of like that. Okay. Now if I can remember, we'll just... And then they, they have to be embellished too. So, so what that means is this video may not be done. <laughs> Might have some more to do here. And I just might, just might do it. Okay, and then, so right about there, I want glue. And I think I'll put a little right under here. Yeah, and then that will just go on the page, I think like that. This one we could leave to flip down. I think this one I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and glue it because it doesn't do anything to open. You know what I mean? Can't write on it or anything. So I think, and same with this one. I have a lot of strips of coffee dyed paper. I could get busy and make some more of these. Um, this idea for these little envelope things, as far as I know, came from um, Lori Girl on the Ridge. That's where I saw it. And so I'm gonna put something to kind of attach that, and then that, and then we can just put some things on that to embellish that. Okay, so then I wonder if I could do these three. How about like that? And then that one can open. Okay. Just making snappy decisions because I'm needing to go quickly here. But yeah, this works great. They're just kind of fun on a page too. You could actually put this at the top of a page and tuck something under it too. That would be cute, wouldn't it? Okay, I should have glued this down already, but better late than never. And we'll glue this one down. Yeah. Oh, gosh, I'm just, my mind's just uh, fluttering after the, all that happy mail. So I do think um, I have some of Eve's trims that have been sold out that I need to make another digital with and then um and then go over and get the get the physical items of um the ones that she just the ones that she just uh sent and then yeah and then you'll be set I don't know I don't know be kind of fun to have the flap over. Kind of like that. I think I might 
do that. Yeah, so gosh, everybody, thanks for hanging out with me today. And this was kind of a an odd video, just telling you what I'd what I'd been doing and stuff. But <clears throat> I might, if I have time this afternoon, I might do some more of the ephemera. And if I do, I'll just go ahead and turn on the camera because. You know, not every video has to be a big old project, right? Sometimes it's just crafting. And, you know, it's funny how many times when I just do a, a regular old crafting video of just whatever I'm, whatever I'm up to at the time, it's funny how many people say, I learned this or that from that video. So it's just, sometimes it's just... You know, doing what you normally do and, and people may ha not have seen a certain way of doing things or something, you know. So, okay, so then we'll need to embellish these a bit more. I have this little guy who's all alone, all alone and lonely. Um, but those will be, those will be good. What am I doing? I'm trying to put the paper clip on my art glitter glue. Then I also think I might on one of these. Would it be cute to kind of dangle one of these off of one? I think that might be cute. Let's do it just for the heck of it. This one can be kind of a a neutral one just a tiny hole punch and if I can get this to go correctly I need to make some more of these these were really fun to make and um, definitely was an idea from a subby but that's cute just on there then um, I could put like a maybe an old button or something as the closure of that. Well, we'll work on that some more in the next video. Um, but we got those kind of put together so they're ready to decorate, right? And let's see, what else? Do I have anything else to tell you? Um, in the description box below, there'll be the Snippet Shop and Snippety Do Creations. Make sure I got that right. Yep, Snippity Do Creations. And um I we will we will just see you in the next video. Thanks everybody so much for watching. Stay safe and well and have a grateful day. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.